welcome to vlogmas day what it is? 19. I didn't end up filming anything yesterday. I thought I would because we were gonna do a lot of thrift shopping and stuff like that. I'm cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> um, but I was just so busy with Jesse and Devin and we were just having a lot of fun, you know, and shopping. I didn't really pull up the phone and film anything. We did get some thrift store items, mostly toys <laughs> for Jesse. We also went to um, Walmart because I wanted some, I wanted to get plants for the house. Because I'm a nature person and with Jesse, I haven't been able to get out much other than here at the apartment. And, uh, what's the same? We don't have another car yet, so we can't go places during the day. So we got two plants and we pre potted them into buckets. And, um, just because, like, fancy pots are very expensive, and I wasn't gonna pay 20 something dollars for a pot. So we paid $2 for buckets, and um, we put holes in the bottom of them. Right now they're just sitting on towels until we can find things to put on them, trivets or whatever they're called. And I plan on using cotton yarn to crochet things to put around them to make them prettier. But in the meantime, they're fine the way they are. We got, um, we named them, we always name our plants. So these trees over here is the tall one's Ralph, the short one's Daniel, and that other one over there, we can't remember the name, I have to look it up, but off the Karate Kid, it's gonna be the girl's name. <laughs> Cause Ralph Marchino, or how do you say his name, plays as Daniel, and then the girl. But um, one thing, I did get the store hold up real fast cause it's sitting right here. This cute little leprechaun, it's like a ceramic thing, he was like a dollar. And I got him so I could set him out um, around the porch next year. But we're cleaning up. Jesse's at my mom's. She came last night to visit and they ended up leaving with Jesse. Um, which is, you know, that's how they always do. So we're cleaning up. Devin's in the shower. I've got to clean the kitchen, start some laundry, take out the garbage. <sighs> oh, both of us. We're both going to do that. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go get some Pokeballs. And now we'll see what else we get into today. Tonight, I do want to sell some of those sheet bags. I got enough uh, material for two project bags and two zipper pouches, Notion pouches. So I'm gonna try to get those done, or at least mostly done today and tomorrow and get them posted up in the shop soon. Yeah, I think that's about everything right now. I'm gonna get off here and clean up the kitchen real fast. of vlogs. I didn't do the last two days, uh, the, the, night, the 18th and 19th, because uh, Saturday I started feeling not so good, and then Saturday and Sunday, you know, I just didn't feel so good, so I didn't really do anything. I didn't even film my No Catch Your Name episode. I gotta do that later today. Whew, I'm out of breath. I just did, because I was feeling bad, I just did four loads of laundry. We washed and dried three loads yesterday, and they just sat in there <laughs> in baskets. And this morning we did the last one and uh, after Devin left work a little while ago, I went in there and dumped them all out on the bed and folded them and put them away. I filmed some of that and you would have seen this already, but the camera died. The other camera that I was using died. So I didn't get to film the last two baskets, which is just his work clothes, so it's okay. 
<laughs> out of breath. I still kind of feel a little under the weather. I think I was starting to get a kidney infection, which is really common with me. Uh, I get them a lot and I always have her since I was a little kid. But um, once I started feeling that feeling, I started taking those over the counter medicine for it. It's a C word. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> and chugging water like crazy. So I think it's calmed down a little bit, but it was starting to get bad because when I get kidney infections, they get bad. <laughs> Like, I usually end up in the ER and uh, having convulsions and uh, projectile vomiting and stuff like that. It's pretty rough, but um, I think I've got it, like, at bay for now. <laughs> I'm going to keep taking that those pills and drinking a lot of water. I've been trying to drink more water anyways. I need to get some now. I'm thirsty. <laughs> it's hard to do four loads of laundry in a row. It's a lot of clothes. I ended up moving my clothes to Jesse's closet. I cleaned out some room. Because Devin has so many work clothes. He has uniform pants and shirts. And he got some more uniform shirts that needed to be hung up. And there just wasn't room. So I went ahead and moved mine in with Jesse's. Excuse me. <laughs> because usually during the day, you know, when I need clothes, I don't want to go in there and wake Devin up anyway. So it's easier to just go into Jesse's closet and get mine and his clothes out. So I did that. I changed the sheets on the beds. Uh, what else do I need to do? I'm not going to worry about doing the sheets today because we got multiple sets. So I'm not even going to worry about washing them. They just put them in the hampers. I'll wash them eventually. <laughs> but um, I've got to film later. I've got to film my No Catch Your Name episode. And I've got to film a video that I'm participating in a collab. Um, I'm going to try to film it today because Jesse's still at my mom's. And she's bringing him back tomorrow, I think she said. So I'm going to take advantage of that and film a lot today now that I'm feeling a little bit better. So I'm going to film a no catch name, film the collab video, and I'm thinking about filming a video about fair injuries, um, just showing the ones that I've made so far. I'm so close to being done with the Mandal Madness, I want to be finished with it. I was working on it this morning. I finished another round and started another one. Um, I'm on round 105 now, so I've got like five, a little over five rounds left to do. <sighs> I feel like it's hanging forever. I have... a about two more weeks I have to have them done by August 31st like that night because September 1st is the day that I have to go enter them into the fair I can't believe it's only two weeks away like uh. um, I'm hoping to I think I'm gonna start this evening probably working on the other things I want to enter in the fair because there's only four more categories that I want to enter and it's Christmas wreath fall wreath other holiday wreath and um, fall decoration so, I've got one wreath form already, and so I just need to get two more, which I could do this weekend. But I, it wouldn't take long to make the parts for the wreaths. So, I'm going to, I think tonight, once I get tired of working on the Mandela Madness, I'm going to start working on those wreaths. Uh, bits, you know, the, the thing that goes around the form and then the, all the little decorative parts. Uh, just so that I have them all done and ready, and then I just have to, so, you know, put them together once I get the forms. Which I can do sometime this week, whenever I get out of the house. Um... And then the, the fall decoration is just going to be like a wall hanging thing. I found a cute little scarecrow one on Ravelry. And it's a free pattern. So I thought it would be cute. One, to hang in my house this autumn. And then two, to enter into the fair. So I'm going to try to make those. I don't think that'll take too long. Because wreaths usually don't take that long. The longest part of a wreath is making the scarf-like shape to sew around the whole form to, you know, give it a crocheted background. That's the longest part, and it's just because it's usually single crochet back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for like 80 rows. That's like the most annoying part, but it is, you know, when you think about it, it's annoying because it's the same thing, but it is pretty quick. You know, you, I can easily make a whole wreath in one day if I sit down and, you know, do it and not keep putting it down. So I'm sure I can get all those wreaths made before the fair next, uh, in two weeks-ish. <laughs> The Mandala Madness is one I'm, I'm a little stressing over. I only have a little over five rounds to do, but it seems like it's taking forever because the rounds have gotten huge. And But I'm in the home stretch. I know I'll get done. After I finish uh, part 17, I'm going to uh, sew in all the ends. And then when I start part 18, I'm going to do a round and then sew in its ends and then do a round so that when I do the last round and sew in its two ends, I'll be done. Uh, the pattern does suggest you lightly block it, but I don't have anywhere to block that thing. <laughs> it does not fit. The only floor it fits in is my craft area's floor, and it's barely fitting there. And I definitely can't leave it laying in there 
to block. So I don't think it's going to be necessary to be blocked. So I'm just going to finish it, tying all the ends, and go around and pull around on it, make sure all the ends are in good, fold it up, and put it up until the fair, fair day. So I think, I don't think it needs blocking too bad. I mean, it is a blanket. I never really got the point of blocking blankets, especially ones that are going to be used because they're just going to get squished up and washed and dried and, you know. But yeah, it's still beautiful. I love it. I, I'm looking at it right now, so I'm looking back. It's over on the other couch from where I was working on it earlier. And I just, I can't wait to be done with it. I cannot wait to start other projects. I'm like, I'm, there's so many things I've seen that I want to start and make. And I can't because I've got to finish that in two weeks. And then after the fair, I'm probably going to be crocheting all kinds of different random projects. Um, I think my hibernating blankets may stay hibernating because I'm a little tired of working on things that are big. <laughs> I think I might make some amigurumis and Christmas ornaments and stuff after the fair just to get some finished objects done <laughs> to make myself feel better. And then go back to bigger projects. I do want to start in the next few months a blanket for next year's fair. I'm going to go ahead and start it early so that it's not such a pressure to get done. I was thinking about making um, either Sophie's Universe or like Moa Change. One of those, that guy's patterns, I think his name is Frank. I can't remember. But he has all kinds of beautiful patterns. The Moe Change is free, I'm pretty sure. But a lot of his other ones are paid for, but they're really nice. Mandala-like-ish ones. And I think that that's the kind that win at fairs and um you know i want to win at the fair so i'm gonna go ahead and start a new blanket in like a month or two for next year's fair because our fair it's within a year so it's usually september to Aug the end of august the next year so as long as i started in september this year i can enter into next year's fair as long as it's done by august 31st of next year so yeah I want to make a baby blanket one too. This for the next fair. Maybe everything. It'd be cool to enter um, something in every category. I'd have to get comfortable with working with uh, thread and maybe even wire because there's a lot of um, jewelry categories at our fair. We have necklace, bracelet, earrings, uh, a couple other ones I can't remember. But um, I don't know. It'd be cool to enter into every single crochet category. And at our fair. Um, the premium used to be for, they, we only have first, second, and grand. We don't have third place. Um, the second was $4, I think, and first was 6 and then grand is 10 But this year they changed it. It's $2 higher for everything, I think, which is awesome because it um, be more yarn money. <laughs> but, uh, and also... Whoever wins the most blue ribbons in one category, like in fiber arts or, um, what is it called? It's called needlework. It's called needlework. Um, if you win the most blue ribbons in needlework category out of all the crochet and knit and stuff, uh, you win 50 extra dollars. So, it'd be cool to, like, do that. But there are a lot of people who enter. There are even more sewing categories and there are crochet ones and there are people who enter into all those. So, it's usually the sewer, sewists that, um win that 50 extra dollars because of that or the uh what is it called the people who cook i can't remember what that's called culinary arts categories i've always wanted to enter those too like cookies or something i think it'd be fun to have your cookies tasted by other people and judged except i don't really use any of my own recipes they're all recipes i've gotten off the internet i think that's kind of cheating i think it's supposed to be your own recipe but anyways yeah I'm sitting down, cooling down for a minute from doing all that laundry and moving all my clothes into the other closet. I did pick up our room a little bit. I was listening to music the whole time. We have iTunes. Uh, we're members of iTunes, so I love the playlists. Like, you can go in there and search for just anything, and it'll bring a playlist for it. And I always look for 90s music playlists, and I was listening to a playlist of that. And it's just cool to be able to listen to nostalgic music. Just like that without having to buy it but yeah let's see what else do i gotta do today i need to film those videos like i said i need to sweep and mop a little bit because there's spots in the floor that are sticky that's something from jesse i've been having heartburn like crazy lately and i want to try to find healthier ways of dealing with it than um medication you know um i don't i don't have 
acid reflux bad enough to require like daily medicine but I, I do get it especially when I drink water water gets me heartburn really bad and I read online that lemon water can help and obviously baking soda and water but that tastes really bad I don't I'd rather try something different so if anyone has any like natural remedies for heartburn let me know and I'll try them out um there's something else I'll probably try the lemon water because I like drinking lemon water anyways it's really good Plus, it's, it helps your metabolism and stuff, which is always good. I need to clean the kitchen. I need to thaw out some chicken. I need to go do that now so it has time to thaw out. Tonight, I think I'm going to bake some chicken without any bread on it. Just bake it with seasonings. And i got to cook some potatoes because i got some potatoes that are going to get go bad if I don't cook them soon. <laughs> and then I'm going to make the chicken just seasoned so that I can use it in salads. Because um, we used the rest of our rotisserie chicken yesterday. We made spaghetti squash and it was really good. It was like surprisingly good. It's crazy to me how much it actually tastes like uh, cooked noodles. Like spaghetti noodles. We ate it. We made it like a pizza. We cooked the spaghetti squash and then scraped it and um, mixed in marinara sauce and cheese and pepperonis and the chicken, the leftover. We only had like a, a little over a cup of leftover chicken in the fridge so we just we split it up and put it in each of our halves <laughs> we ate it while watching a movie uh yesterday was about the first full day Devin and I had had together without Jesse in a while so we uh we made that squash and ate it and we we rented um The Conjuring 2 because we hadn't seen that yet we rented it through Amazon and watched it I really want to see um Insidious 3 and 4. We were trying to find those, but we couldn't find anywhere online that we could rent the third one from. I guess it's too old now, but we can only find the fourth one, and I don't want to watch the fourth one without watching the third one. So we'll probably have to buy that like at Walmart. It's probably pretty cheap there. And we watched Conjuring, and then we, we binge watched all of Castle Rock because it's been up there for a while on uh, Hulu, and I've been wanting to watch it, but I was waiting for Devin to be able to watch it with me because I didn't want to you know, us to be on different episodes. Um, and we did that with Breaking Bad also a few years ago. And that sucked because he worked a lot of overtime and I was, I wanted to watch it so bad and, but I was waiting for him. That was when I was pregnant. Um, but we, we binge watched all of Castle Rock and it is so good. I love how it ties in all the other Stephen King bo books and movies. It like mentions them. I think that's so cool. But, um, yeah, I can't wait for more episodes that to come out. It's really good. The only bad thing about it is it's not a movie, so it's not going to end. I wish it... That's what we were talking about yesterday, because it's a TV show. They're going to keep it going as long as possible to make more money off of it, so we're never going to know what's going to happen. Um, so if it's a movie, it would end, and we'd know how to end. But, yeah. All right, I've babbled for 13 minutes. I need to go ahead and get off here and start cleaning up the kitchen. <laughs>